When I was little, I always used to think that that said applesauce. Dad's saying that I should go to this, but the thing is, is it's on my birthday, so I don't know. Wait, pickleball? I imagine pickles shaped like balls. Well, it's before 10 and I'm awake. We have to go to Evie's award thing. She's got like a award for bullying. I don't know. That's what dad's, that's what dad keeps saying. So I don't know. Maybe she's getting awards for being a bully. I don't know. She wouldn't surprise me. Anyways. And then after that, we're going out to Detroit to see grandma and grandpa again. So also I have awesome mismatched socks. Oh, whoa. You cannot see me at all. Oh my God. There we go, pretty mismatched stuff. And now I'm probably more focused too. I'm really sorry, I just charged my battery last night, so I don't, that's definitely not the reason for the thing to not focus. I guess my camera's just like, I don't wanna. I really wish I could get one of those that um, does auto focusing while recording, but they're like $400 for the camera, and I'm like, for like another 100, I can just get another DSLR. Even though, you know, DSLRs don't do video and that's what I need, but... Oh, well. They all got their awards. Nevi's right there. Look, it's a sub and a salad, Mom. <laughs> I took a handful of it off and the sandwich is still full of it. Jeez. She stood up and she had crumbs of her sandwich all over. She, it, she was on her butt. I was like, how did you get the crumbs on your butt? You were sitting on it. You're supposed to eat them with these cheeks, <laughs> not with those cheeks. <laughs> I've said it before and I'll say it again. This could end very badly. I'm laying on the couch for a while. I've been reading um, over 100 pages already in my book. I just put a piece of gum in my mouth and now my teeth are hurting. I can't figure out why. Plus, the underwiring keeps pressing into my ribs and it's hurting really bad and it won't stop. And I can't figure out how to make it stop because it's never done this before. Blech. Never done this before and it's really annoying so I don't know what to do. Hey guys, I want to show you some stuff that I got today. Dad got me. Got another ugly doll thing. It's a little dirty though. I gotta fix it. It's got like hair and stuff on it. And then I got this little dude here. And he rattles. It's one of the sheepies. So might have to do surgery to get rid of that silly little rattle because it's annoying. <laughs> and then I got this little guy. Look at him. He's a 116th. <laughs> He's so cute. Dad found them earlier. So, I got those and I have no idea what this ugly doll is. It doesn't say their names or anything. I don't know. It's like it's been washed a dozen times or more than things. can't tell if it's filthy or if it's just supposed to look dirty like that. But yeah, I'm on my server right now, but nobody's on. I shut the server off when I'm not on, so... Meh. But... Alex mentioned I should... Uh, consider making it a whitelist so then I can keep it up. Well, not keep it up, but um, so that because it's supposed to be a server for my fans. But I have people who aren't a fan who are just searching for servers and they're like, hey, okay, I'll get on even though I'm not a fan of this person. And that might be where the I'm having the issue and stuff. So, or I could just have fans that are mean people too. I don't know. Anyways, so. I considered doing that whitelisting because then they would have to message me with their username so that they could get on and then I could see if they're uh, subbed to me and if they're not then wouldn't let them on but um, leave me it how it is for now and Alex made a skeleton spawner trap thing and I'm just sort of sitting there because I got nothing else to do I'm waiting for a bunch of stuff to melt and cooking cobble into stone and all that good stuff so. And try and convince Alex to get on the server tomorrow so that we can do another like cave house or something. Sounds fun. Hey, Bubba boy. How are you tonight? Hi. 
today's daily message on Facebook. God loves you. Blah. Okay, wow, I already messed up that. Okay. God loves in you even that which you dislike. God doesn't part partition you into pieces and love some and not others. And not love others. Wow, what the heck? Someone who wrote this is like really screwed up on figuring out how to write it. Okay, we're going to start this over one last time and figure it out. And if I screw up on it, I'm just giving up. God loves in you even that which you dislike. God doesn't partition you into pieces and loves some and not loves others. That's what people do. That's what you do. God, who created you, accepts and loves every little part of you, even those you deny and hate in yourself. So next time you try to dislike a part of you, just pause, look, and remember that God loves it. Oh my gosh, whoever wrote that is like, needs to learn how to spell? Or, wow. I mean, my brain melt. Hey guys, it's only about like 10.30, and I think it's 10.30, or maybe it's... Yeah, it's only about 10.30, but it feels a lot, lot later, and I think it's because I woke up. And I'm super tired, so I might actually go to bed early tonight. I'm um, just going to read some more of Catching Fire until I do. Right now, I am... I've been reading it all day. And right now, I'm on page 221. Oops, sorry. Page 221, so, you know, I've been reading it a lot. <laughs> I've read, like, over 200 pages today. Anyways, so, I'm going to go to bed. Well, I'll end the vlog here since I'm not, there's nothing else for me to vlog about. So, I hope you all have a wonderful night, slash morning, slash whatever it is, wherever you are. And I will see you all tomorrow, my awesome little, and some of you might not be so little, I don't know, mangosteens. Good night! Our love will break through this maze